in this video we are going to discuss about ethernet cabling so what are the what is ethernet cabling and what are the types of cables available so here when connecting different kinds of devices to each other so different kinds of cabling is used so you know when two devices are connected to each other so different kinds of cables are used based on the types of cables available so we have the following three types of ethernet cabling exist so what are the three straight through cable or normal patch cable crossover cable and rolled cable so coming to straight through cable so you see straight through cable a twisted pair cable has eight wires in it so a straight through uses four out of this eight wires so you twist each two cables you twist into a four uses here so you can see here 1 2 3 and 6 here so you have 8 out of it 1 and 1 2 and 2 and 3 and 3 and 6 and 6 are twisted so that they can be used and also you should remember here so it should it should be having a receiver and transmitter so here for one device receiver will be transmitting to other one and other receiver will be transmitting to the other connected device the same thing is mentioned here the transmitter on one end needs to connect to the receiver at the other end if wiring configuration is incorrect the bits sent from this device to the other device won't be transferred and won't be sent so you can see about the crossover here a crossover cable also uses the same four wires but here you can take that they are used in a uh, straight through cable but different pins are used that means if you can see here 6 is connected to 2 3 is connected to 1 1 is connected to 3 and 2 is connected to 6 so this also use the same four wires but the different pins are used not like the straight through cable here and you can see more detail here about the crossover cable is used to connect host to host switch to switch hub to hub switch to hub router to a host so in simply when you clarify about this crossover you can see it is easy way to remember that only similar devices are connected using crossover cables that means a hub and hub can be connected switch and hub can be connected router and host can be connected and switch to switch and host to host are connected here so similar devices are connected using crossover cable so coming to the rolled cable a rolled cable cannot be used or uh, any ethernet connection because a rolled cable is different when you compare with crossover and straight through cable it is used for connecting two routers or switches console port from a serial communication port so you can see the diagram here so 8 is connected to 1 7 is connected to 2 so vice and versa all are connected ups and downs the cable types and where they are used is very important here because you see here the connecting to a routers or a switches console port from the host serial communication port is only done by rolled cables so the usage and the type of cable used are very important in the ethernet cabling so and also there is other most important part in the tcp ip model is data encapsulation so what is data encapsulation the la so data encapsulation is nothing but you take the pdus you collide each and every pdu and you combinedly encapsulate into a single segment though you are aware of the process here so but the names of each layers of pdus in the tcp ip model are given like this so in the transport layer they are called as segments and coming to internet layer they are called as packets coming to network access layer they are called as frames so each and everything get encapsulated so segments got encapsulated and form into a data and packets encapsulate and form into a segment frames encapsulate and form into a packet so you will see very clearly in the next diagram so here the diagram is data at application layer so data at application layer which is the top most layer it is in the form of data itself contains a header so it will be forwarded to the transport layer and there using that header or tcp udp header the segment will again segregate or will get uh, decapsulate and passes through 
the internet layer and here internet layer functions is to again segregate it into packets again here using the IP header it segregates into packets and also in the network access layer it again segregates into fame and and the bits are transmitted to the physical layer. So, here the PDUs are used or the, the, the protocol datagrams are used clearly here so that the data will be transferred each and every layer based on the headers with it so that it can be transferred to the destination host.